Hi guys, it's Delcy and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a combination of yesterday's video and today's video. Um, I know I posted a video yesterday, um, but like I said before, I was going to try to do two videos a day and I just didn't get to the second video, so I'm just going to combine it with today's, which you guys will get my morning routine today and this video today. So, yeah. So, the first thing I'm going to talk about is breaking down a college syllabus. So, um, most of you I'm guessing already started college, and if not, this is um, okay, but even if you have and um, you're still getting syllabuses, um, that's perfectly fine as well. I just wanted to give you some tips on how to um, look at the syllabus and just how to uh, break it down, obviously, as this the title of this chunk. So, um, let's get into this topic. The first thing is print each syllabus. I prefer to print it and have a hard copy so I can look at it. Most of the times, um, my professors will print off my college syllabus for me. Other times, they won't. It really just depends on the professor. But if they are on the computer, print them out. Um, and if you get them before the first week of class, put them off before the first week of class. That way you have it on the first day. Um, so yeah. Next, add each ass um, assignment to your planner. That is what I do. Um, this year I've kind of changed it up. So what I've done is like I'm just going to use my biology class as an example because that's just the class that's like here in the area. So what I did is I took like our syllabus and so like here's the schedule, there's this side and there's this side. So what I basically just did was I went through it and I broke it down into this kind of thing and I kind of like, because each chunk has a like focus question, so I just broke down like each chunk that had the, fo the same focus question. So like the first chunk is from August 27th, which is today, through September 11th, and then I wrote down what the focus question was, and then like I have um, what pages I need to read for the next, for those, the days in between, and when my first quiz is due, and then I've done that for all the sections that have focus questions, um, and I do add stuff in my planner like as I go along, but I also just always have these sheets on me. Um, it helps so much to do that for me. Um, and then like in my planner, I wrote down like test days and exam days. Um, and I'll probably like go through later and add like when quizzes are due. So that way they're also in there for when I'm looking at my planner and stuff like that. Um, next is contact information look for that your contact information for your professors usually they'll have like the email and their like office extension um and most professors will have their like cell phone or house phone or office phone number in there as well um required textbooks um look to see if there are any required textbooks that you guys need um and then try to get them as soon as possible um look at the grading policy see how everything is kind of like broken up um I use the app called A Plus Grade, I think is what it's called, and I haven't like started using it yet because I don't have all of my class syllabuses yet. Um, so once I get all of them, I'll like plug them in, like the due dates and like how many points they're worth, if it says how many points they're worth. Um, so yeah. So that is it for breaking down a college syllabus. Now I'm going to talk about six ways to organize your college planner. Thankfully I have my college planner here. Um, so yeah, so number one is work in class schedule. So my planner has the, looks like this, it has um, monthly and it also has the weekly. So this is like this week's schedule and in like the weekly schedules, I have all of my classes on one side and like all of my meetings and stuff on that side. And then on the other side, I have like videos, podcasts, um, and then like any homework assignments will be on this side. And then like 
anything else that I might need to do on this side. And then um, on the big, like, the monthly planner, I have, like, my band schedule, as you can probably see. And then, like, this line, I have, like, videos kind of, like, on Tuesdays for Step Up for Mental Health because I work with them. And I also have, like, when my exams are. Um, so that's how I do it. And it, and then, like, also I have, like, these, like, three, like, main task things up here. So I use that a lot. And then next is syllabus. Um, so I also have added syllabus stuff in here, like I said earlier in this video. Um, next is goals. Um, maybe if there's a spot for, like, monthly and weekly goals, you can, like, plan those out. Like, I have, like, for them on the monthly one, there's, like, notes and stuff here. So, like, for September, there's a partner manager application for YouTube, and I'm going to apply for that. And then, like, anything else in the thing. Sorry about the bills. Um, it rings every, like, hour and half hour, so. Um, next is events. Um, include birthdays and stuff like that. School-related breaks. So you have time to plan on plan vacations and call off from work. Next is budgeting. So if you have, like, an area in your planner for budgeting, you can use that. Um, then... The last point is designated me time, like, I also have, like, a big weekly planner, like, a big one that puts on your desk, and I, like, sometimes, there's, like, three different categories at the bottom, and I'll, like, write extra, extra stuff, and then, like, I, I transfer my schedule that's in my planner into that weekly planner, and it is so easy to, like, put in times where, like, I can go to the practice room, or, like, times that, that like, I want to go work out and stuff like that, and it's so helpful. So... I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like I said, my morning routine will be posted later today, so keep on keep them on the lookout for that, and I will talk to you guys in tomorrow's video.